Hello and welcome back to the unforgiven world of the 40s millennia. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our journey in uh, Gladius Warhammer 40k. We're trying to find a place in this very, very unforgiving environment uh, to, to domicile it for the human race. The Ultramarines are the only ones that could do it, and we have heard rumors about a couple of orcs uh, that are nearby, so that's our ultimate goal. But for now we do have a couple of other um, quests to go about. Quest number two on our radar is 20 requisition per, tur uh, per turn, which slowly but surely is going to come. Let's end the turn and uh, see what we are dealing with already see a couple of aliens up, um, are moving in there seven more turns until the next fortress of redemption I want to make sure that we keep our space marines together good the webway here is almost clear we are continuing to heal turret up here is again Fortress of Redemption is almost healed and yeah it'll take some time to just get all of uh, the fields off the city you can see marine a little marines uh, marine bonus hit points good moving up there of course running into yet another overwatch who would have guessed but we got the holy hand grenades to retaliate immediately Take that, destroy the webway. And the injured Marines will fight from up here. Good, we're trying to get to that cluster here, maybe getting some more resources. In the meantime, we will get that Imperial Bastion uh, down and we'll slowly but surely move down here. All right, end of turn for now. Oh no, more enemies. But they are unfortunately in good terrain. So they are taking little damage. However, we can focus fire. And as you can see, we're grinding them down. Speaking about grinding them down, it will take a few turns, but this Imperial Bastion will fall over time. Uh, and in the meantime, we got this one field here with 20% uh, more influence, which is a global bonus on influence. You can uh, see that. And uh, two permanent influence, so that's good. We're going to get that tile, and once this tile is done, we will finally get the Reclusium important building for us moving up and we found the first unexplored runes these here are runes of the necrons so having them it's unclear what it is some time-worn structure rearing from the shattered surface Made out of the same impenetrable material as the rare artifacts that uh, dot the planet, which can be learned merely from studying it. So we get plus 20 study research, more study, and uh, more research overall. Which is good. We need more of those tombs in order to actually start popping off with our research. Research is slow at the moment, but everything is a bit slower right now and there is another unexplored rune in the meantime let's take down that and we're just holding our position here with a little bit of healing you can see we found in the runes uh, the first item we can't deliver it to someone yet but it is a blind grenade Item that reduces the accuracy of the target enemy infantry or monstrous creature for two turns. And that essentially means they are less likely to hit. Most of the items cost uh, influence in order to use them. 
So it's always good to have just a lot of influence. In the meantime, we talked about uh, building the reclusium. So that'll happen over here. Reclusium itself uh, requires or produces a bit of influence and uh, takes a, a quite a bit of energy as well. But we're good. Let's put this there and afterwards the assimilarium in order to get more influence. Uh, we still need more requ uh, requisition as well. Hopefully we can get that soon-ish. But for now we got to deal with what we do have. We only have two space marines, so that's not a lot to deal with. We're slowly but surely getting the other bastion away. Three more turns until the fortress. And this looks like a trap. I've already noticed that there are enemies over here. Oh, 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 this here is bad. We don't want to attack the lair. I have dealt with a couple of scorpions once, and they were pretty bad. There's a webway here, which we might want to get, and there are definitely a couple of good runes for us. All right, finally. Nice. Look at that. Both of them leveled up. So we now do have instead of 15, 16 hit points. Yeah. And a little bit more damage. We just need to heal these guys. And we got the Grok's pasture around the heartstone of the alien storytellers muse about Grok's the dangerous herd animal that is ubiquitous throughout the human lands will give us a lot of biomass a lot of food quite a bit of requisition in some ore plus influence so it's good to have these things but unfortunately don't underestimate the uh, the big fit scorpions here this might be not a bad place to be honest to place another um, another fortress. One here, one fortress here would prevent anyone going into this canyon. So that's not bad. So you could place um, quite a few defensive units behind here. Okay. Soon we'll get our next um, space Marines. Uh oh. And we're my maybe about to lose our existing Space Marines. Alright, Battle Brothers. Move down and help your friends. Off into the ruins. I should have let the other Space Marines take in that damage. Yeah, that's a problem. We might be losing our first Space Marines here. Let's build another um, set of Marines. Oh, they can fly and traverse terrain that way. Okay, never mind. Good. Well, we lost a couple of space marines. That's not good. But we got access to a new hero. I like that. And assault space marines aren't bad either. We want to continue keeping this relic, so I'm not okay with not keeping it. So we're putting our next space marines there. In the meantime, we're continuing to get this tower. And we need to push in again. I want to place a fortress of redemption down here. That'll give us access to that entire area, even if it costs us a couple of... 
a couple of space marines. Reclusium, three turns, and then we can finally get heroes. That's unfortunate. In the meantime, the second pair of dogs is still there. Good. Fresh frag grenades will teach them a lesson. Reclaiming what was naturally ours and then shooting even more. We're going to push further down. We don't have vision yet, but we will get hope hopefully we'll get vision next turn. And then we do have a fortress down there. Yeah, these Vasplings are a pain in the rear. Good, two more turns. The good part about these fortresses of redemption is they are ultra durable. So really they can withstand a lot of attacks and punishment. Good, almost got that Bastion down. And I think it's one more turn. Um, yeah, these here are the big scorpions that I talked about, and they are no joke. They actually hurt a lot. They hurt a lot. Super high armor penetration, etc., etc. And they come out of these scorpion holes. Good. Next turn we can place the fortress. You can see the little, the little neutral um, VASP warriors are regenerating as we talk, so we can't let them get away with that, at least not for too long. Good. And now we definitely need the Fortress of Redemption. Not at the position that I wanted, which was a bit where that Scorpion is uh, position. And nice, we just finished our uh, quest because this gives us extra Reclusium income. Um, and hopefully the Scorpion will go for it. We can hide our Space Marines in there. So that fortress itself is super valuable and we need to get uh, get this one here killed, the Catalian Lair, but the moment that we attack it uh, we might spawn more enemies. Good, in the meantime we leveled up our fortress here. And the Reclusium is done, which gives us the first hero. We're going to go with a Captain. Definitely a good hero, good choice for the first one. Um, in terms of additional buildings, let's get more sweet, sweet influence going. And yeah, we also need to deal with the webway. That's a lot that we need to deal with. And the turn. Second scorpion, not good. But luckily these count as heavy creatures. So as you can see, our guns are dealing a lot of damage against them. I would like us to just refresh our hit points for now. We will get the webway next and we'll just let the fortress take the shots. So 
soon we will get assault space marines let's see if they are a good upgrade and our city is now at six out of seven so we might also need to increase it wow they deal a lot of damage against us space marines okay cool well Building that increases the population limit. That is exactly what we need next. That's why we can't get more population. Good, and I would argue we want to get this space down there. More Marines are moving down. Uh, we're waiting one more turn. I really want us to be filled up and ready to fight. And the city builds some assault space marines. In typical Warhammer fashion, everything takes a lot of damage, so... Survival is really difficult here. Space Marines move up. 2.9 if we use the grenade. No. Almost dead. And we're moving up. And that should kill it. Cool. Big fat XP. Yep. 2.4 experience. That means we do have a level 2 here. Yes. And these guys are already level 2 on their way to level 3. Fantastic. Oh yeah. We can see it with a little number right there. Uh, that one is dangerous. All right, let's end the turn. Good, we have gotten that extra building. I know there is another worm somewhere, so we gotta be careful. I don't want that right away nice little traders encampment six more turns until we get a new fortress of redemption and mind you in case uh, i haven't mentioned it they start to cost even more and uh, per uh, per fortress on uh, the battlefield and they also have cumulative upkeep so you can't just have hundreds of fortresses but i think this is a really nice little defensive parameter for now, so we're good. I also believe we want to get rid of the web webway gate. That's free XP standing there. Good. That gives everybody a nice little experience. Fortress levels up, which is good. So we're level two on that fortress. And yeah, well, uh, that'll be difficult. Let's kill these guys first. And we're going to take it from there. Whispers of Heresy. Research the Reclusium. Got that. Construct Reclusium. Yes. I'll research a librarian and construct a librarian. Well, that is potentially another hero, I would guess, if it has to do with a reclusium. Starting to hit the lair. Can 
we use grenades? No. Well, it's less effective than just shooting it. Okay, cool. Well, the layer is almost dead, and that would be some really, really decent experience. Got some more... I got some more resources here and here and here, which we might want to claim. The more resources you claim, the better your economy, naturally. So we want to expand. At the same time, as I was saying, the worms are not to be trifled with. Solid 5.0 points of damage. Good, let's wait for them to come around so that we're all overwatching. Uh, we built the first hero. The second one costs double the price of the first one. But has a lower upkeep. So what we're going to do is we're building yet another hero. Um, and so let's look at the captain. So what heroes can do is they can take up individual skills. Uh, the captain has three skills. Power strike with his uh, big fat uh, uh, yeah, electro sword. It's not an electro sword. I think it is a power sword. So a relic. Then he has healing surge where he can heal himself. And he has deeds of glory where he just contributes generally to the city. So what I would want to do is I want to play him as a frontliner which means we're going to go with healing first. Some of you might now say, oh no, Psyche, and how could you pick that? Well, wait for it. Let's see if it is any good. Good. Two more turns until we can get the next, the next um, building. So naturally, I'm wondering... How long would that take? Four turns, it's a bit too long. Let's claim that other spot here that takes exactly two turns and we're good. Because in two turns I want to build the uh, dormitories uh, that allows us to grow, to grow further. Let's heal and heal. Good, we're taking shots. The thing is severely injured. Moon up here. Take more shots. Moving up here. And kill it, and I think everybody should get experience. Very good. Should have potentially moved him here, so that way he would have been in experience range. Oh, no. A big fat trap. But with grenades, one of the dogs are almost dead. And let's hope that the remaining dogs are not going to dish out too much damage. Okay, we want to capture this one here as well. And down here. Okay, well, end turn. Lots and lots of damage. Okay, they are still standing. Good job. Moves back. And instead we're moving in.
good. Our hero moved to the front line and we got assault marines. What can they do? So more armor, more hit points, good morale. Get one attack still. Same movement, bolters and chainsaws. Okay. And we got a jump pack, free action. Okay. Jump over here. Love it. I thought it was a free action. Oh, they cannot move afterwards. Mm. <sighs> well, okay. We need more... We need more uh, people in the city. So six turns. Unfortunately, we're at the limit. But that's the fastest I can go. And then the city hopefully will grow. Let's select some research. Fortress expansion. Increase the tile acquisition of the city. Um, building that increases loyalty. Devastate the space marines. Oh, those would be heavy, heavier. Uh, heavier marines and there's uh, the librarian that we need to research let's go with the uh, fortress expansion first more tiles more the librarian yeah i think we're going with armory first we don't have any other heavy heavy war machine yet we only have infantry and that is not how it's supposed to be fighting against dozens of these dogs the challenge is always the moment that you run into them um, you might find yourself in a scenario where you are just taking a lot of uh, hits Good. We're definitely going to go here for now. Keep that. And for the first time, you can witness the power of our champion, who deals 5.8 points of damage just for going in with his sword. No fucks were giving that day. This is one of those traps that I mentioned. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's a perfect. Now that is a perfect um, cliffhanger. Just lost a level three space marine for slight, slight um, scouting. And he essentially just got pounded. Anyways, before we're ending, let me show you something. Our hero can indeed get that blind grenade. And for 40 um, influence, we can make sure that an enemy is hitting worse for turn uh, two turns. So that's essentially how that would work. Good. That brings us to the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy Gladius Relics of War and me getting pummeled because I'm trying to scout and it doesn't work, uh, then leave a comment and a like down below and try to help the Space Marine brothers. Take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.